This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in the city of Richmond. More specifically, I am in the near West End. Today, we're going to take a look at a five-bedroom, three full-bath cape. This cape is located here in an interesting area of Richmond. Uh, a lot of people love this area because they are close to, of course, downtown city of Richmond, but also Western Henrico, Short Pump, and all the major interstates nearby. Uh, there are some very quaint little areas uh, where people love to shop and enjoy restaurants uh, just a minute from this location. And you see, of course, that big dumpster in the front yard. Uh, conventional wisdom and many agents would never, ever bring you a home with a dumpster in the front yard. However, I'm not a typical agent. And one of the reasons I wanted to bring this to you was because there's the ability here or in any house like this to force appreciation. And when I say that, what I mean is you can buy this house, get a financing to not only purchase, but also to renovate it. And then when you are done, you have a house uh, that meets your taste. You have the pride of actually uh, bringing it to your vision. Uh, the financing is pretty close to what it would be normally uh, without doing the rehab as far as your down payment. And uh, you reap, of course, that instant equity. So the thing that I also like about this home is it's not in need of that much work. Most of the work on this home could be easily undertaken by a handy woman. Uh, our systems appear to be in good working order. And we even have an upgraded kitchen uh, that's been renovated not too long ago. This home here on the side of the home is commonly uh, a porch and uh, over time uh, owners went ahead and, and closed it in uh, and that's probably what happened here. We can tell because we have that brick surface here and usually you wouldn't put brick on the interior of a home so that's uh, probably what happened. The replacement windows are in place in this home as well. This would be a great place to make it a homework nook uh, office space or even just storage. This of course would be our main family room area uh, moving back towards our large dining room area and we've got a nice amount of space here. These once again are wood floors. Our kitchen is straight ahead and we have a bedroom wing uh, down here on the first floor. We're gonna head down this direction first. Uh, here to the right is going to be a heat pump. And of course, you've got modern heat and air as a result of this unit. Many of the homes in this area still heat with radiators. And uh, a lot of people have just left them in and replaced them over time. Uh, they are fired with either oil or natural gas. This home, of course, uh, is electric for the heating and air system. So bedrooms are pretty inexpensive as far as rehab. Obviously, there's not a whole lot to do. You just have walls, floor, and ceiling. Uh, and these uh, definitely are not uh, rough condition. Uh, so you wouldn't be needing to spend a, a bunch of money here uh, in these areas. Uh, this is, of course, our downstairs hall bath. We do have a little bit of a soft floor there. Uh, that's simply uh, replacing some three-quarter plywood and, and redoing the floor. But they have definitely uh, done some things over time here in this home uh, as far as upgrading the systems and keeping it uh, modern. All right, we're gonna transition now to our kitchen area. The kitchen area is right here to the right. Uh, it's also important to consider home like this, especially in today's market where there is so much competition for homes. So you're not gonna have a whole lot of competition typically on rehab properties just because a lot of people aren't willing or able to undergo the work that's needed in order to uh, bring them to completion. A good looking kitchen. We've got the white cabinets, the granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, all the appliances would convey. Uh, we have a door there going out to the back. We're going to go out a different door to our back uh, and see what our backyard has in store. Your dinette, of course, will go right there in the corner. All right, as we turn this corner, we have a laundry area. And this is nice because you can use this for additional storage. Uh, the electrical has been upgraded. We've got 200 amp electrical. Uh, over time, it's not unusual for uh, homes to have small leaks in the uh, bathrooms. And that's probably what happened there. It looks a whole lot worse than it really is uh, to get that in shape, get that leak fixed if it's still an active leak. And then, of course, repair the drywall. So not that big of a deal whatsoever. All right, let's pop outside and see what we have here in our backyard. 
one of the things I like about this home is it's bigger than it looks from the street. You would never guess uh, that you were working with five bedrooms and three full baths on this home uh, from the street. All right, we've got a nice backyard here. We've got a privacy fence there in the back, a storage building there in the corner, and a good shade back here. Obviously, if somebody didn't want uh, all of this shade, they could, of course, take some of these trees or limbs out. Uh, not a whole lot uh, is needed here on our exterior. We've got a nice area there if you wanted to step out and put a table there, a uh, little patio area. Uh, so you've got all types of options here uh, on the rear. If you wanted to extend that and make it a full-blown deck, you could, of course, do that and um, finish it off a little bit more. All right, let's go on back inside and take a look upstairs. Uh, please keep in mind that if you are in the market to sell, um, I am definitely looking to get some homes on the market and get them advertised and get them sold. Uh, homes are selling now for top dollar, and we'd be happy to work with you on that. We do have our listing guarantee. We've got 2,000 viewings in the first week, or I work for free. So definitely keep that in mind. All right, let's go upstairs and see what we have here on this beautiful home. This home hit the market today. And so I wanted to be out here, one of the first ones to see it. Uh, the listing agent, one of my favorite agents in the whole world. And she works very, very hard to bring properties to the market. And she often has uh, some of these rehab type properties uh, that she lists. Okay, this is going to be our bedroom number three. This is a nice size rectangular bedroom. This is not the primary. But we've got really good square footage here in this bedroom on the second floor. Once again, we've got those replacement windows that have already been put in. This is a large hall bath up here on the second floor. Now we have a stand up shower here. Now this is unique. Um, we've got the gooseneck shower head there. This just has all types of possibilities. Uh, as far as the stream placement and um, you could just go ahead and do your thing with that interesting piece of plumbing hardware all right here to the left is going to be a little under eve storage it's nice to have storage here on uh, the second floor because you can put some things away and not have to take them outside or, or put them in your normal closets and this will be bedroom number three here uh, this one also has a nice size closet here in place. And uh, of course, some of these closets they put in over time uh, after the home was originally built. And uh, that's where uh, some of these older homes really excel because then you have some additional closet space. We have a small hallway here. This is a large closet. This is probably a good six feet or so. And I apologize, it's a little dark in here. Uh, and this is, of course, our primary bedroom good size primary bedroom we often see primary bedrooms in these older homes on the second floor that have issues with knee walls knee walls being low and this one does not have that so that's a nice plus uh, you've got a ensuite right here they did some pretty extensive tile work. look at that tile work they did some pretty uh, intricate tile work all the way up to the ceiling which is kind of neat we don't typically see that uh, and then they also did some tile work here in the tub shower area. Okay, very interesting property, something definitely different uh, that I brought you today. Today was a double header. We had two videos today. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you do like this, let me know what you think. Um, please be sure to comment like and subscribe if you're not a subscriber please go ahead and do so i love to hear from you and make sure you pass the word on i'm working hard out here for my buyers and sellers and would appreciate your support max williams 804-402-7788 it can reach on facebook under richmond area foreclosures on youtube under my name max williams realtor thanks so much for taking the tour y'all be safe have a great day